This is the story of a pretty young girl named Snow White. She was the fairest in the land. No one was as beautiful as she, especially her wicked stepmother, the queen. She was a very vain queen, but not a pretty queen by any means. Now listen up. I'm having an intimate little dinner party tonight for 256. Make me beautiful, darlings. Oh. <laughs> I feel like being grand. I feel like looking glamorous and singing with a band. Well, I'll go through this torture and never even blink. Cause I just want to have some fun. It's later than I think. Yes, I must get more exercise. I've got to be more active. Oh, you there, move my arms and legs. It makes me more attractive. I'll soon be looking stunning once I'm out of this device. If only she had natural beauty, like... <gasps> Snow White. I'm here, Stepmother. You wanted to see me? Oh, give her a makeover. Make her less attractive than me. We did our best. Her beauty's indestructible. Oh. Oh, <laughs> well, you're just saying that. You are miracle workers. Oh, and you've done wonders with me too, darlings. Oh, honey, we just got started. I command, who's the fairest in the land, darling? I know you're in there. I said, who's the fairest in the land? And now, presenting the off-the-wall character, the mirror with the Moses, that good-looking looking glass. You know him, you love him, you can't live without him. Your reflection in mine, me! Oh, you bellowed your heinous, a largeness? I mean, oh, highness, I, oh, ah. I thought it was Mr. Potato Head. Oh, just answer the question. Who's the fairest in the land? Well, actually, if you just, uh, the, if you think of, uh, actually, uh, Mrs. Queen, uh, Queen, uh, fairest in the, uh, you're the fairest in the room. The land! Oh, let's see, uh, there's Princess Guinevere. What a babe. Lady Leatrice. Uh, Dame Edna. Uh, let's not forget the blacksmith's wife, Flicka. <laughs> uh, Barney in peril? <laughs> Ooh, and uh, according to this list, you're number 256. Bingo! Enough! This is the guest list for my dinner party. The party is cancelled. There will be no one prettier than me in this kingdom. Ooh, it's gonna get pretty lonely around here, Plasterpuss. <laughs> Seconds away from a clean getaway. <laughs> Never mind! Send me the royal butcher! <laughs> this ought to fool them giblets. They'll think they're eating turkey. <laughs> Gee, it's tough being a butcher and an animal lover. Butcher! Butcher! Come here! Uh oh. Uh, maybe the tree bark bacon I made for breakfast didn't fool her. Uh, uh, you, you, you called, Your Highness? Yes. Now, this is the guest list for tonight's party. I already have everything prepared. Uh, we're having turkey surprise. Well, I have a surprise for the guests. The party's cancelled, and so are they! What? You heard me! Cancel the guests. Mm. How? You're a butcher. Use your imagination. Oh, what about the royal executioner? Isn't this his job description? I fired him. The mirror saw him without his hood one day. Even he's prettier. 
No! Bye bye now. Move along. Save yourselves. Be good little party guests and run for your lives. Oh, thank you so much for letting us escape. We just knew these hairdos would get us in trouble with the Queen. Imagine being beheaded over a buffon. Oh, and we promise never to come back. Good morning, stepmother. I brought your morning paper. I'm going out to play with my animal friends. Would you like to join us? <gasps> you shouldn't play with your food, darling. Oh, no, I mean... I want to read the obituaries first. Well, I guess everyone should have a hobby. Have a nice morning, stepmother. Breakfast, your majesty. <laughs> have my instructions been carried out? Oh, yes. <laughs> I uh, got rid of everyone on your list. I was merciless. <laughs> Care for some bacon? <laughs> this tastes like tree bark. <laughs> really? Well, uh, they just don't make pigs like they used to. Wake up, you lazy-looking glass. Queenie's face is falling down. Chicken, ow, ow, falling down. Yeah, falling down. Ow, ow. <laughs> Can a mirror have any privacy? Uh, new wrapped old cold cream commander in chief. Ah. Uh. Mirror, mirror, I command now who's the fairest in the land. Uh, which land are we talking about? And the answer is Greenland, Ireland. Long Island? Here's your Long Island. This land! Answer me, or I'll shatter you! Did we get up on the wrong side of the castle this morning? Can you say cranky? I knew you could. Oh, boy, let's see. We started with 256. Subtract the... Oh, carry the five. Oh, boy, there's still one fairer than you. Your most crankiness. Who didn't you eliminate from the list? Well, uh, there was one, but I thought it was a typo. Who? Snow White. You didn't want to get rid of your old stepdaughter, did you? Snow White? I wouldn't lay a hand on her pretty little head. That's why I hired you. Get rid of her! I want everyone fairer than me eliminated! Where is Snow White? I said Snow White, not White Snow. There ought to be a law. Wait, I'm the Queen. I can make it a law. It is a law. No more Snow White. Well, must I do all the work? Get rid of her! <laughs> do I have to? Do I have to make another law? Oh, jeez. Get it right this time. I'll be watching on my magical mirror. <laughs> Lenny, want to play with us? I can't. The queen sent me here to get rid of you. But why? Because you're so beautiful. <gasps> Don't worry, though. I won't do it. But we'll have to fake it, because she's watching. What do you want me to do? Act like I'm hurting you. Take that and that! Oh, oh, help! Oh, you poor man. Let
let me help you up so you can finish getting rid of me. <laughs> Thanks, Snow. You really are sweet. Move it along, darling. Okay, let's go, Lenny. Finish her off. Off her. Throw her away. Throw her away, baby. I know you can do it. No, no. Not the stone. Yes, 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 the stone. And now, a word from our sponsor. What? Hungry as a bear? Come on down to Burger Queen. We only make burgers one way. Our way. I'll have a Weston Bacon Queenie burger, uh, but hold the pickles, please. <gasps> you want it your way? There's the doorway. You'll have it our way or not at all at Burger Queen. Yeehaw! And now, back to our program. Finally. <laughs> I did it, I did it, I did it. Arf, arf, arf. This makes me feel like another beauty treatment. Well, from one die job to another, it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Do you think we fooled her? Gee, I hope so. But you have to flee. Never go back to the castle or something really bad might happen. Thanks for saving me. So Snow White fled into the forest to escape the jealous queen. On and on she went, trying to find a new place to live. Excuse me, it's almost dark and I need a room. How long will you be staying? Oh, about 40 or 50 years. Then you'll need one with a private shower. That sounds nice. Norman, who are you talking to? No one, Mother, but she's very pretty. Oh, you know, there's a minute or two of light left. I think I'll keep looking. What an odd path. This doesn't look like Kansas anymore, Toto. What luck, I can stay here. Unsafe, do not enter. Maybe it's deserted. It is deserted. Yum! Too hard. Uh, too small. <coughs> Ooh, comfy. Just right. I'm so hungry, I'm sure they won't miss just a sliver. Now I'm sleepy. I'm sure whoever lives here won't mind if I take a short nap. Too short. Too soft. Oh, oh, too splashy. Ah, oh, perfect. Sheesh, hey, someone's been in our house. Well, someone's been eating our pie. Someone's been sitting in my chair. I tell you, someone's been drinking my milk. Not Goldilocks again. Hey, I gotta tell you. I bet she's sleeping upstairs. Hey, that's not Goldilocks, don't you know? Who is she? Oh, hello.
Hello. Who are you? Yeah, I'm Dicky. I'm Danny. I'm Dewey. I'm Ducky. I'm Doby. I'm Donnie. Fred. Fred? That doesn't fit. Yeah? What's your name? Snow White. There's a name you hear every day. You sound like a weather forecast. Sheesh, what are you doing in our house? Hiding. The evil queen is trying to get rid of me. I can never go back home. There's no place like home. May I stay with you? Well, you, should we let her? Uh, first Goldilocks, now her. What are we, a woman shelter? Yeah, what's in it for us? Rent. Hey, let me tell you, speaking of rent, hey, Snow, you know how to cook and clean or what? Sure. You just tell the servants what to do. Uh, uh, servants? <laughs> yes, I'm a princess. I lived in a castle. Servants did everything for me. Oh, oh boy, that's boy. terrific. <laughs> Well, now listen, ma'am, this is no castle, and there ain't no servants. That's okay. How hard can housework be? Somebody has to cook the supper. Somebody has to boil the tea. Somebody has to get the housework done, and it might as well be me. Tra -la -la. Somebody has to do the dishes. But good help is hard to find. I'll clean up while you then relax. Oops. Watch out. It's a, I got it. Somebody has to do the laundry. Someone we like, like you. <laughs> Somebody's dreaming of a happy home and we'll make that dream come true. Work till the dream. Good morning, Dickie, Danny, Donnie, Doby, Dougie, er... Fred. Morning, Morning, morning Snow. Snow. Look, I made breakfast. Sorry, uh, late for work. Uh, time to hit the road. Uh, yeah, we'll just uh, pick up some grub along the way. Oh, no, not breakfast at Burger Queen again. I hate that place. Don't be late for dinner. I'm baking fresh bread. Great, more firewood. Yes, your Travis the Cut to the chase, darling. Now who's the fairest in the land? Well, hey, you've always been fair with me. No complaints here. Just love the accommodations. <laughs> no, you twit! I mean, who's the prettiest? And as Philippe explores the murky depths of this mysterious underwater world, he senses danger. Answer my question! Not now. I feel drained. I'm going to put a velvet Elvis picture in the stream if you don't tell me who's the fairest in the land. Well, uh huh, uh huh. Mama, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, let's see, Mama. Gone, gone, eliminated. Well, that leaves. Snow White in the first, someone named Gwendolyn in the second, and you in third place, darling. Who's Gwendolyn? Quick, in here, where it's safe. The only way Snow White could still be prettier is if she's still alive. Where is the little Missy? I said Missy, not Mississippi. Oh! Oh! Snow White, alive. Looks like she's playing house with a bunch of dwarves. <laughs> That does it. I'll take care of her myself. Back, you bread. Back. You still have an hour to bake. And no fat talk. <laughs> what is that foul stench? Maybe I used too much yeast. She's beautiful, as beautiful as a princess. 
Perhaps I should introduce myself. <laughs> You're right. Better not. She might offer me some of that beastly bread. We'll get acquainted another day. A little dabble, do ya? Hello? Hi. I'm your neighborhood representative for Mary Decay Cosmetics. May I interest you in some beauty supplies? I'm sorry, no. I have natural beauty. Well, <laughs> we're in luck. I sell all natural beauty supplies. No animal testing. Oh, well, <laughs> I guess that's different. Come on in. Oh, I just love what you've done with your... Hubble, uh, why don't we just sit down and I'll demonstrate some of my products, darling? You know, you seem familiar somehow. Really? Well, we saleswomen do get around. Let me show you our latest hair care products. This special comb, for instance. Oh, what's special about it? Well, it's, uh, it's guaranteed to make your scalp feel all tingly. With this, you'll be drop-dead gorgeous. Trust me. You're right. I do feel tingly. <laughs> I feel... I feel... You feel nothing. <laughs> no! I'm the fairest in the land! <laughs> Holy moly! Hey, what happened to Snow? Maybe she ate her own cooking. Wake up, Snow. Wake up. Hey, there's a comb stuck in her hair. That wasn't there when we left. Oh, what happened? Hey, man. You tell us. But, sales lady, I, I think she poisoned me. I tell you, I've played to rooms like that. First the queen, now this. You don't get no respect. Hey, why is everybody trying to hurt you? Wait, I knew she seemed familiar. That sales lady was my stepmother, the queen. Well, I you like that. that. She's Miss White. From now on, don't open the door for anyone. I won't. You saved me again, guys. And to thank you, I'm going to fix you a big dinner. That's something else. Stop the music. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm going on a diet. You, magic mirror. You know, darling, when I say this, I mean this. You look marvelous. Oh, my darling, here comes our waitress. Could you put this in a doggy bag for us? I'll leave you a big tip. I'm too happy to let your petty little jokes get to me, darling. Now, tell me who's the fairest in the land, as if I didn't know. Signpost up ahead. You're in another time and space. I mean the dark on this one. <laughs> oh, I love Korean restaurants. They cook right at your table. You're going to be the main course if you don't answer me. All right. It's Snow White. Happy? No, that can't be! I got rid of her! This isn't fair! Well, Missy, you know what they say. Life isn't fair. Yeah. And neither are you. <laughs> I'll get you, my pretty, and those little dwarves, too! Darling, will you wait, please? You didn't show us the dessert menu, you little cupcake. At least my bread isn't a total waste. A poisoned apple a day keeps Snow White away. <laughs> Who is it? Sales lady. No thanks. Who is it? Uh, Girl Scout cookies. Sorry, not today. Gee, this is a busy neighborhood. Who is it this time? Candy apple, Graham? Really? For me? Darn, the dwarfs told me not to open the door for anyone. Well, shoot, did they say anything about opening windows? No. There now, that's 
better. Here's your candy apple, Graham. <laughs> Just bite into it, my pretty. Oh, there's a surprise message inside. Mmm, it's so juicy. Yeah, makes your taste buds tingle, doesn't it, Cookie? Tingle? Hey, that's what the sales lady said. You're so easy. Easy as pie. <laughs> Apple pie, that is. <laughs> Sheesh! Oh, oh, no, not again. Uh-oh, looks like she did eat her own cooking. Ha-cha-cha! What a way to go! It's too late. She must have swallowed a piece. Hey, I gotta tell you, I don't think it was her cooking. It was the queen again. She poisoned that apple. Mirror, mirror, I command! Who's the fairest in the land? Darling, do we have to go through this again? And for the last time, I'm sure. All right. <laughs> and the award for the fairest in the land in a ruling role goes to... Wow, what an upset. It's you. Uh, yes. Oh, you like me. You really like me. Oh, wait a minute. Why did this happen? This can't be. What happened to Snow White? No, isn't that a pretty picture? No, but I'll show you a pretty one. Oh, now, I'm the fairest in the land. What are you gonna do about that, darling? Get rid of you like the others! You're fired! Yeah! <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life without the queen. <laughs> Why, that's the lovely girl I saw baking bread. What happened? I'll tell you, the queen did this to her because she was so pretty. It looks like she's fallen and she can't get up. Hey, what can I tell you? Life's tough when you're a beautiful princess. Princess? So we put her in a glass coffin so everybody could see how pretty she was. But this is no place for her. A princess should be in a castle. We don't have one. I do. I'm a prince. I could take her to mine. Hey, you gonna finish that? Well, where am I? What happened? Gee, she's alive. And who are you? Hey, I gotta tell you, he saved you. And he's taking you to his castle. He's a prince. Ain't that something? You are? in all the land as the world can see you will see that I will cherish and protect you as the years go by we will rule our kingdom with a kind hand if you will marry me so far from the evil queen in our own land is where we'll be Snow, babe, this is happening. It's grooving. Fancy meeting you here, man. Magic Mirror, and what are you doing here? Listen, SW, I'm singing solo at your wedding, and I mean that. Oh, love is great. Love is grand. It's getting late, so give me a hand. Ah, ching, ow, ow, ow. Yeah. Thank you. You are happening, and I mean that. And so, Snow White married the prince, and they lived happily ever after. And so did the vain queen, or so she thought. She was finally the fairest in the land.
for she had banished everyone from her kingdom, leaving her all alone. Oh, I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. Which only goes to show that loneliness isn't pretty. Watch out. Heads up. I got it. Mine. 